Hey everyone, my name is Jark, and today I'm going to be talking about um, the new Celestial Festival that has come to Blade and Soul. It's been out for uh, about almost a week now, I believe, so I'm a little late on it, but I just wanted to show you guys some things about it. So, first off, how it works is you get these uh, heavenly fruits. Um, basically, you get the heavenly fruits from Celestial Basin, and you get these chests from... Um, like monsters in this area so for example you know like you go out here there'll be like a mob or some guy and it's just a random drop you know one of them might drop it might one of them might drop it right away it might take 10 times to get it it's all random um basically they drop these boxes and when you open them they give you one to two heavenly fruit and then they give a bunch of other um other little goodies so the way you open them is you need one celestial basin key and the way you get keys is from doing uh, the daily challenge. So just from doing the daily challenge, I have already eight of them because, I mean, I always do the daily challenge every day. Um, also, if you don't want to get it from there, you can buy it from the Hamoon store. Uh, they're only five NC coin or uh, I believe five Hamoon coin. So really cheap, you know, if you really are desperate. But otherwise, just do your daily challenge and you'll have enough. Um, so basically, open the box and you'll get oh crap i got five heavenly fruit and i got two so i got seven fruit from that so i, I stored on that one but um basically you get these heavenly fruits and you can use it to buy items from the vet store so right here some things you can get so first off i'll show off the costume just because uh, let's see. i'll put on everything real quick so basically this is what it looks like for lynn mail I'll show all of them real quick. Kind of a weird outfit. <laughs> You're like some type of weird like fairy person, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, yeah, it's okay. I probably, I probably won't get it, but it looks kind of cool. Anyways, that's one of the things you can get. Also, um, you get upgrade material. You can get gems. Of course, the forging or orbs are amazing. Um, only 75. Um, just a bunch of little things you can get. These you can get, uh, basically, for uh, newer players, you can get these evolution stones and upgrade your accessory to one of the, um, I forgot the name, but they're like uh, accessories that specialize in like fire damage or wind damage, and it makes it easier to upgrade to them. I believe you get it at stage 10, once you just use the stone. So these are just for like the newer players, um, if you're like, you know, a little bit into the game more like me, then, you know, you re really want to go for these stones. But, um, the main, the main reward that everyone's going crazy for, for the fruits, is the gems. So basically, for 60 uh, heavenly fruit, you can get uh, a flawless, brilliant, Han Moon uh, purple gem. And it's for attack power 7. So only 60 and you get this. And then the best part is, once you get 60 and buy that, you can transmute it. And all you need is one uh, 7 attack power uh, purple gem. And then 90 heavenly fruit and you'll get automatically 12 uh attack power so it's basically just a way easier way to get the final um 12 ap form of the purple gem so just an easier way really recommend farming for them because it's, even if you don't even get that just to have the um, 7 ap one is really easy it's as you can see i just got um seven heavenly fruit from one box so very easy um this will end in about six weeks, so um, definitely take advantage of it. Uh, another quest that everyone should be doing is the uh, raid, the weekly raid. Basically, uh, this is every week. And just from doing this, you get 11 heavily uh, fruit. So I really recommend doing this one. Um, I already have done it uh, before the event because I love getting the flowers from it. And the gold's really good. Um, unfortunately, on my server, is actually pretty hard to get a party for some reason to do it. But uh, if you have like a guild or something, you can get them, you know, get your guild and uh, get your heavenly fruit. So definitely do that one every week. But yeah, basically you just uh, farm Celestial Basin. You can uh, farm the mobs. There's also bosses that spawn at random points. Um, and you can DPS them down and you'll get another box and you basically get more heavenly fruit. So that's basically it for uh, this event. I hope I kind of explained uh, at least some things for you. But basically, I'll repeat it one more time. You uh, fight mobs, get some boxes, 
do the daily challenge or buy from the hardware store to get the keys uh open the boxes you get heavenly fruit and then you can buy whatever you want i really recommend buying this one right here and if you really want to go hard and uh get that um beautiful 12 ap purple gem then i mean you can really try to go for it that's what i'm gonna go for um but yeah the event's only out for about six weeks so definitely take advantage of it before it's over and um i hope you guys enjoy that's about it thank you